No, so sorry, we can we can go into that, but I want to be sure whether you know why the lack of public funding for political parties is a manifestation of winner takes all. Do you know? Do you understand that? No, if you, no, if you don't understand this, you don't understand. It. And so let us explain that before you go into other details. Lack of public funding or public funding as a solution, public fund of political parties as a solution to winner takes all. How does public fund of political parties become a solution to winner takes all? The idea of public funding is explained in terms of the a situation where you set up a certain fund and members of the public would contribute into it to fund political parties. And then the state would also contribute into it to fund political parties. A line of demarcation must be drawn between public funding and state funding. Ghana, I think until 2012, or even up to even up to 2020 elections, Ghana practices. State funding of local parties are number one from 1992 up to up to 2012. Any time there's going to be election, government would distribute vehicles to political parties. They'll give vehicles, tata cars, lever vehicles to political parties. It's the states funding them. And then any time there's election, even up to 2022, 2020 elections, any time there is election, the state broadcaster GBC. Is free airspace for the various political parties to go there to align or to work at their vision. That free airspace is paid by the state. So that is state funding, the idea of distributing vehicles to, uh, to, to parties and then also giving them airspace to be able to apply their vision on radio and on TV is state funding. But when you talk about funding, public funding, you are saying, let the state itself provide some fund, and then also let members of the public who wants to give some funding to help local parties to keep up um, um, their heads about water, let the, let, the, let the public also give. So in the state that is uh, plus the public that then creates what you call a public funding of local parties. But how does its act absence create financial of politics? He who wins any election in our part of the world has an ATM machine on his veranda. You understand? Anyone who wins election in our part of the world would have an ATM machine on his veranda. Now, if you don't win, you are zero. So, because I have won and I have all the state resources, and find funds which means I've won, I've taken all the resources. The opposition has lost, and then it is muscled out of politics financially. You lose, you lose money. You win, you have an ATM machine on a veranda. But where there is public fund of all parties, I win. It's a state that funds me, or probably that funds me. So if I win, I have resources. But if you lose, you will also have resources. Because the state, the public is, there's a public fund that funds all of us. You see, political parties are supposed to be functioning as agents of interest aggregation, agents of interest articulation, agents of uh, political socialization. Agents that are required to recruit and train and groom future political leaders. They are supposed to be conducting research and making their findings known to the government, particularly in times of national crisis. And then they are also supposed to participate in elections. See, I've mentioned about seven different functions of political parties. But you see, it is only elections that our parties uh, take seriously. The rest of the functions are not performed. Why? Because they don't have money. For instance, we are in economic crisis. It is the role of the political parties, particularly those in position, to undertake research into how they think the crisis can be resolved. And then make their findings known to the government that we are in opposition, where we think that if we do this and that, we'll be able to deal with this crisis. Our research costs money. They 
be able to do it. So you see, you have won. You've taken all the resources. But they have lost and they have nothing. The pride of all the fans of all car parties will make sure that even if you lose election, you'll be able to keep your head above water. In their offices that they operate, they pay water bill, they pay light bill, they have personnel there that they have recruited that they are supposed to be paying money. How do they pay for this? And how about the final contract for this? A very serious matter. When you talk about public final contract for people feel that why should somebody fund for uh, why should somebody set up a bulk party and then why should we go and use our money to fund it? Somebody has set up a bulk party and then we should give them money. I know the idea is quite innocent, it doesn't make sense to many of you. But you see, in tackling the partners of other development of poverty, we are not emotional. There is no, there is no place for emotions in the fight against poverty and other development. What I'm trying to say is that. You see, if you don't fund political parties, they will be weak. And because they are weak, they will only be able to attract the caliber of leaders we have today. Who will then have what it takes to tackle the challenges that confront us? If you don't fund political parties, they will attract the caliber of leaders we have today. Bomb, bomb leaders. But you see, if political parties are funded by the public, if there's public fund of political parties, it should be possible for any of you to complete school. Can you, can you imagine? You complete school, you have done masters, you have done your PhD. Why do you want to work? I want to go and work at the NBC headquarters. Why? Because they'll pay me. Elsewhere, elsewhere, people get down to school and they are doing internships at party offices. They are actually looking for employment at party offices. Those of you sitting there, sit there, how many of you will finish school and write application and say, I've sent some to the MPP headquarters? Well, how? They don't pay, they don't have the money. But you see, when you are done with school and you are a PhD and you are bold enough to go there to apply to work there, and you know that they are also going to be very comfortable, tomorrow, after working there for a while, develop the appetite for party politics and then the next time you say you want to put yourself out there for elections number one you are very well educated very well experienced and very well socialized if you have party activities are done so the next time you are elected a member of parliament or a president you are knowledgeable you were taught the concept of philosophy by me and you know how the first market must work. And so you become the president, you know. But because there's no funding, this guy in the rural area knows how to mobilize people. They say the gata is true. So communally, by you mobilize people, they resell the gata, and then it is clean. He has not been to school before. The next time there is election constituency, you organizer. He says, I will contest. He contests, he wins. The next time he says, National Youth Organizer. He's popular. He contests, he wins. The next time he goes to the party, he says, I want to contest for the presidential candidate of the party. And he's popular, he wins. Then he becomes your president. He will tell you that we don't like road tools. We are looking for money, but we don't like photos. So you cut it. Then the next time when it's one, so we like photos. I'm <laughs>